Hi everyone and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to make amazing blueberry muffins and when I say amazing they are so good. So in a big bowl we're going to start with one and a half cups of flour. Oh and before we really start preheat your oven to 400 and you can either um, spray your muffin pans or use muffin liners. I use muffin liners. You will only get eight big muffins out of this and you can double it it doesn't matter so I'm doing the one and a half cups of all-purpose flour remember don't pack it down we're going to do three quarters of a cup of sugar two teaspoons of baking powder Half a teaspoon of salt. I have to grab my salt. Okay. vegetable oil so now what we're going to do is you're going to grab a one cup measuring cup you're going to get one egg and you're going to crack it into your cup so now we are going to whisk the egg just a little bit in here okay and then You're going to need a third of a cup of oil, just vegetable oil. You can use any kind you want, whatever you like. I would go with the more mellow only because you have blueberries. Maybe coconut oil would be fantastic. Okay, so now that you have your oil and your egg in your one cup measuring cup, you're going to take your milk. And I have used whole milk, uh, 2%, and I've used heavy cream, which was excellent in these. So use whatever you have at home. And you're going to measure all the way up to the one cup with the milk. So that's why I don't know how much milk you will need, because it depends on how big an egg you use. All right, so there we have that. Now... Actually, to make this a little bit easier and less mess, start with your oil, then put your egg in, and then put your milk in because that'll tell you your levels you need. So in your dry mix, dry uh, flour mix here, just whisk it together pretty good. And then you're going to add your liquids. This recipe is so easy. All right. So now we're just going to mix this together. Get it combined well because this is where you're going to want, you know, it mixed pretty good because we're just going to fold in the blueberries. This batter is a pretty thick batter too, so don't be concerned. Whisk. Okay. Just make sure you get all your flour off the bottom of the bowl and off the sides. You can have just a few lumps in there, that's fine. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blueberries, one cup, you can add a little bit more. Um, and you're just going to fold them into that mix. 
because you don't want to over stir these um, blueberries because um, the dough will get tough and the blueberries will just be disintegrated in there and you want to be able to bite into like a whole blueberry. And these muffins freeze really well too. So if you need to make them ahead of time for something. Okay, so there's one my, my one cup of blueberries. And I'm just going to fold them in. Now how to fold, you start from the bottom and go over. Bottom and go over. And just keep doing that gently until they're mixed all the way through the dough. I might add a few more blueberries. Just doesn't seem like there was enough in that dough. Just don't add too many because it, like if you did two cups, these would be too liquidy. They would not bake right unless you're actually doubling everything in your recipe. Okay, so now we got that. So set this aside for now. And now in a small bowl, you're going to need, go back to my recipe, a half cup of sugar, a third cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, like more cinnamon by all means put more in I think I'm just gonna do one and a half that's close enough it doesn't have this does not have to be perfect as long as you like how much you put in okay so now I'm just gonna take my fork and whisk this together real quick and then what you're going to do is with this fork we're gonna cut up a quarter stick of butter into little cubes You want your butter to be cold. Uh, is that a quarter stick or a quarter cup? It's a quarter cup. Okay. So it's just a half of a stick of a half. <laughs> Got it? It's easy. And I just wanted to do this at the last minute so that I could crumble it good with the cold butter. I didn't want the butter to be too, too warm and sitting in the mixture here. What does that make? Is that like a crumb topping type? Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? It doesn't call for, let me do this one real quick. It doesn't call for um, vanilla in this recipe, but I feel it needs it and I totally forgot. So I'm going to do one teaspoon of vanilla in here. It just gives it a little bit more of a background flavor. If you don't want to put it in, you don't have to. Like I said, it's not in the recipe. It's just what I do. I'll add a note at the end of the recipe so you can remember to do it if you want to do it. Now, I am very, very gently just mixing that in. I'm not stirring it. I'm still folding. You would want to put the vanilla in before you put your blueberries in, really, but I totally forgot, so. Okay, now, now that we got that done. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, fork and you're just going to make this into little, um, like, pea-sized pieces, kind of like a um, pie crust. You want this butter to get throughout everything in your, throughout all of this because it's going to make your topping taste delicious. All I do is push with my fork. If it gets too hard, just use your fingers. It's fine. Just don't melt the butter. All 
All right, so now we're ready to fill our, our uh, cups. The four that you have empty, no matter how you configure it, put a teaspoon of water in each one, and that's supposed to stop these from burning on the bottom too quick. I don't know if it works, but I do it anyway. So now we're just going to fill these cups, and you want them full. You want it to the top, unlike normal recipes where it says, you know, two-thirds up to the top. So let's, I'm just going to fill one full thing right now. And then I'll go back and fill with the leftovers that I have. I mean, this recipe is really so easy. You can make these for breakfast in the morning when you get up. And they'll be fresh for everybody when they get up. And if you don't have a um, scoop like I do, just use a spoon. Anything works. Okay, this is looking really, really nice. It smells really good too. Okay, so now I'm just going to finish up filling these to the top. And I will um, push these down, push this down a little bit with my finger when I'm done, just so it's round on the top. It's a little bit more. Okay. And these should all be pretty even um, once you get to the bottom of your dough. Okay, I'm just going to kind of spread this out a little bit. So we'll get some more. I'm just kind of, that's all I'm doing is spreading it out. It'll kind of fall out on its own too. Okay. So now, what we're going to do, we wash our hands real quick. Just kind of get, if you get some stuff on, that, just kind of wipe it off so they don't stick. Okay, so now, the best part. So this is what your topping should look like. It's kind of a shaggy dough. So what we're going to do is we're going to, don't, don't clump it in your hand. You want it to be kind of loose. And you're going to sprinkle it on top of your muffins. And I always start out like getting them all done and then we'll go back through. I just want to make sure I have enough for all of them. This is what puts these blueberry muffins over the top is this topping. It is so good. And I actually use this topping on some of my cobblers and things like that. Remember, don't handle the butter too, too much because you want it cold. It is a little messy, but it's worth it. Okay, I'm going a little bit heavy on these because I still have a lot left. And the more the better on this. The crumb is the best part. Right, Jack? Mm -hmm. 
These are Jack's favorite muffins. He doesn't really like fruit, anything, but he loves these muffins. He's been asking for them and asking for them, and then he ran to the store and got blueberries for our ducks. Hey, go check out Billy and Blue on their channel. It's Billy and Blue, B-I-L-L-I-E, and A-N-D, Blue, B-L. EU and they're going to be our adventure ducks they'll be going on a big adventures with us all over maybe the country we'll see and um, they have their own page they'll tell we keep you up to date on everything they're doing so please go check them out okay we're so on Facebook Instagram and Twitter yes. same as Jack and Cat Adventures we're also on Facebook you know uh, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Snapchat, and Snapchat. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the oven for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I am going to actually check them after 15 just because my oven sometimes cooks hot. Um, the way to check them is you're going to stick a toothpick in the middle of the muffin, and if it comes out clean, they're done. So once they come out of the oven, I will show you the finished product. All right, everyone, so my muffins are out. They took 25 minutes. Um, I did turn the pan halfway in baking just because my oven is a little wacky. Um, but once they come out, let them sit in the pan for about 10 minutes. And then, I mean gently, take like a, a knife that's real flat and just go around the out, outer rim, not even in underneath it. Just break up that little bit that might have burnt on the side and they'll pop right out for you. If you start digging in there, the crumb topping, the whole top is just going to break off because they these are very delicate. Please uh, try these and let me know, especially with blueberry season coming up. You can definitely do something with your blueberries now. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.